welcome to the theme of the day on the breakfast. It is International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. And the theme for this year is Orange the World, Fund, Respond, Prevent, Collect. That is the theme for this year. And that is why I am putting on orange. orange the plan <laughs> is to orange the world. Um, we know that um, monuments across the world will be dressed in orange uh, for the next 16 days of activism to draw attention to the real issues when it comes to uh, violence. There's also something else, the shadow pandemic. That's yes. how this year's um, uh, commemoration is being remembered, the, the shadow pandemic. The um, conversation also uh, is, is uh, geared towards talking about violence against women, um, gender-based violence also, um, you know, times of a pandemic, um, because records have shown that uh, there's been a very, very disturbing spike um, in uh, numbers of uh, gender-based violence since the lockdown started, since yes, the pandemic, through, through the COVID-19 period. Um, and so, you know, it's important that we start to have these conversations. I remember the federal government also has made a, a certain uh, statements, uh, President Buhari made certain statements with regards to what the government, Nigerian government, will start to put in place uh, to protect women better in our society. I, I guess um, we'll, 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 we will uh, try and highlight that, but I, I guess we should talk about, you know, what the day and the significance of it um, just to buttress what you said, um, in Africa, Liberia, Nigeria, Kenya and Cote d'Ivoire, as well as Uganda, among the countries that have reported a huge spike, uh, the Lagos State um, um, uh, Violence Response and Response Team uh, said they moved from 8% to 50%. And scary. From, it uh, it really is scary, scary um, indeed. And the perpetrators of these violence are usually... Uh, people that we know, teachers, parents, you know, relatives, and this is according to UNICEF, caregivers, people that, you know, you ideally will feel uh, safe with. Um, any act of gender-based violence that results in or is likely to result in physical, sexual, or psychological harm or suffering to women, including threats of such acts, coercion or arbitrary deprivation of liberty, whether occurring in public or in private, is what is defined by the UN. That's exactly the words of the UN uh, now as a violence against um, uh, women. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm also going to share, you know, that one of the reasons this is um, an important conversation, and of course we earlier mentioned uh, the COVID-19 lockdown, um, aside the fact that we're still going to be talking about police brutality later on the show this morning, women in police detention, um, um, rape, sexual assault, uh, that has, of course, been recorded over time by security agencies in Nigeria are some of the things that must uh, be, of course, exposed even further. If you remember, not long ago, there were stories of uh, police officers that were using pure water sachets um, as condoms to rape uh, people who were arrested. I'm also going to talk also a story that I heard not long ago of a girl who complained to a friend of hers that since schools were shut down, this happened in Abuja, uh, since schools were shut down and they had to be back home from their hostels, uh, from their uh, campuses, uh, she has twice been sexually, or well, had attempts at sexual assault from her father. Um, That's the scary part. It happened. Now it's almost a, like a routine. There is no newspaper. I beg to um, anybody to prove me wrong on that. Go to any newspaper in this country today that you will not see you a case see of it. alleged yeah. sexual yes. assault by people who should be caring uh, for them. Uh, but let's talk about the 16 days of activism. We'll talk about all of this if the time will permit us um, highlight some of these stories. The 16 days of activism um, against gender-based violence, as we already reiterated, is an annual event aimed at you know, drawing attention uh, to the issues around women when it comes to uh, gender-based violence. It runs from today up until December uh, the 10th, which is the Human Rights Day. Uh, it generally started uh, by activists at the inaugural Women's Global Leadership Institute in 1991 and continues to be coordinated each year by the Center for Women's Global Leadership. It is used as an organized strategy by individuals and organizations around the world to call for the prevention and elimination of violence against women 
and girls. That's um, uh, just to give you an idea. And then in terms of how it manifests, some people actually don't know that they are, you know, experiencing Meaning, yes. uh, this kind. Um, it's normal for them. Yes. Intimate partners that it comes from them. We also know human trafficking, women, um, the highest figure of those who uh, fall victim. But there's one that I'm very sentimental about, and that's a female genital mutilation. It is a form of violence that still happens today in Nigeria. So I'm, I, this, that's a very controversial um, perspective that I have with regards to uh, FGM that mm -hmm. I wouldn't rather know. Maybe I would we'll talk please, about it off, off screen. Please, you know, it's, it's we'll really, really say off the camera. I don't want to talk about it. But, but you know, also, yes, uh, female geni genital mutilation, human trafficking, um, sexual slavery, sexual exploitation, um, even street harassment, uh, kids' um, um, uh, gender, of course, uh, restrictions with regards to education, girl child education in Nigeria, all of these are centered around, you know, the same conversation. Um, and uh, before we go, I would also share the reason why this date was chosen was because of people call, if you can Google something called the Mirabal Sisters, uh, they were murdered on this day in 1960, um, uh, November 25th, 1960. It's one of the reasons why this uh, day was chosen. There were four sisters that were activists against uh, the government then. I, 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 I don't want to make a mistake, but I think it's Peru or some of those uh, um, South American countries. Um, they were um, arrested, well, they were mobbed and uh, beaten to death today on the 25th of November in 1960, and that is why the United Nations chose this day. So we're hoping that these conversations would be able to create some awareness. We're hoping that um, you might want to wear orange today, like you've done. Yes, that's what that now. So I'm wearing orange today, <laughs> and I'd like you to educate yourself on the issues. Please, the time will never be enough to talk about the importance of commemorating this day and educating women on their rights. The female genital mutilation that I talked about is something that is a silent killer. We know that it is there. Please educate yourself on what I, I was shocked. 2017, I went for a camp on female genital mutilation and you will be shocked at the statistics that's coming out from Nigeria. There's a lot of work, to be honest, being done to address it. And then you, we still have the issue of child marriage. Yes, in 2021, yes. Uh, in 2020 rather, we still have the issue of child marriage. So these are issues that affect women. And um, our guest earlier was saying, we have too many celebrations for women. That's because we have too many issues that needs to be addressed when it comes to women. I guess I we'll wrap things <laughs> up there. So many things to talk about, but very little time. You can be a part of the campaign, by the way. Uh, before we go, uh, go find the UN website, download their materials for those that are online. Use hashtags uh, like uh, Orange the World, which I will be using shortly. Um, 16 days of activism, generation equality. Uh, we also have spread the word. Use the hashtag to commemorate this day um, as, as we've done um, over the years. And it's going to be a 16-day uh, event. Talk, talk. The 10th of and, uh, December, uh, yes, where, where it ends. That's all we have. Hello. We have uh, Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.